After having a lot of success with the arcades and the home ports of these arcade gems, Capcom wanted to create something that would be their own original IP for the consoles. They wanted to have a series that could rival Mario at the time. Directed by Akira Kitabara and programmed by Nobuyuki Matsushima, Capcom had assembled a small team to work on the first game designed with consoles in mind. Yasuaki Kishimoto, Naya Tomita, Kiji Inafun, and Kitamura all worked on the art for the game, and Minami Masume composed the soundtrack. This was the entire team, only six people made Mega Man. Inafun also says that Asamu Tezuka's Astro Boy influenced the design of Mega Man. Mega Man was released on December 17, 1987, and was met with poor sales and an overall poor reception from people. The series was looking like it was dead in the water until the second game was released in 1988, but that is for a separate video. Today, we are going to go over the original, Mega Man for the NES. The goal of the game is to defeat the six robot masters and fight your way through the four Dr. Wily stages afterwards and finally put a stop to the evil plans of Dr. Wily. Basically, Dr. Wily has created these robots to help take over the world and it is up to Dr. Light's creation, Mega Man, to stop them. This game is rightfully known for its intense difficulty and lack of energy tanks and other items that made the later games in the series a bit easier to take head on. This game is also littered with lots of slowdown and bugs all over the place, such as getting hit by enemies causing you to fall through the moving platforms. The enemies and bosses are also trickier to defeat and it is unlikely that many people back in the day actually beat this game when it first came out. Unlike the later games in the series, the first Mega Man game only has six robot masters for you to defeat. Upon defeating each master, you gain their weapons to use in later stages and are given a specific amount of weapon energy till the weapon can no longer be used. This gives the game a lot of versatility in how you play. You can play the bosses in any order you want, but of course there is a boss order that will help you play through the games easier. However, the initial stage and boss fight is a tricky one. There are energy drops located at certain points in the stages, and leaving this screen and coming back is a great way to try to fill up on your health before moving forward. It becomes very clear that this game had a tight development schedule and was only made by six people. The polish that the series is known for is missing in the original Mega Man. You can easily find yourself restarting the entire game over and over again as a result of a bug that caused you to fall or by hitting a spike that you could not possibly have seen. This is a game of trial and error. Also, the devs obviously had love of reappearing blocks. They are everywhere. You see them all the time. Several times a level even. These are so random and the proper way through them are learned through trial and error, as is the rest of the game. The escalation of difficulty is there from the very start. I don't think I found a single stage that was any harder than the last one while playing through this game. It begins with this breakneck difficulty that rivals Dark Souls right out of the gate. So can you do it? Can you defeat the six robot masters, take their weapons, and make it to Dr. Wily's stage? Well, if you can, then you are rewarded with, or punished depending on your view of things, some of the most difficult levels in the game. Dr. Wily's stages are very difficult, and if you die, then you are beginning back at the very beginning of the stage. When you come to the end of the Dr. Wily stage one, you will be faced with what is possibly the most iconic boss in all of Mega Man. Yes, that's right, the infamous Yellow Devil, and you will likely be wrecked time and time and time and time again. This boss is unsurprisingly difficult as hell to beat, and I want to take a moment to mention something about the game. Remember earlier when I said that this game is buggy? Well, many don't realize that there is a pause button for this game, and it's not the start button. 
Yes, because of the way that the original Mega Man was programmed, there is a major bug with the pause menu that can be used to attack bosses and have multiple hits on them by pausing and unpausing over and over and over again. Using this combined with the Elect Man weapon will bring the rock monster Yellow Devil to his defeat easily. You will continue through the rest of the game fighting through all of the robot masters you have fought already and the bubble machine before finally coming face to face with Dr. Wily himself. Taking care of Dr. Wily will see him beg you for mercy before Mega Man begins on his long run home. Mega Man is definitely a classic that began a series of games that will live on in the hearts and minds of millions of gamers everywhere. However the game may set the traditions that we all grew to love about the Mega Man series, it is lacking in many ways. The bugs make the game a chore to complete. The high difficulty feels cheap. When defeating a boss, you are not even told that you can use their weapons and a reliance on gimmicks like the reappearing blocks to lengthen what are otherwise incredibly short levels make the game less than appealing. It is for these shortcomings that I give Mega Man a 6 out of 10 and suggest that if you play it, to do so with the anniversary collection and use save states. Feel no shame in having to be as cheap as the game is to make it through this game. But although you'll miss cool moments like using the Gutsman ability against the Bubble Machine fight and of course the original Yellow Devil fight, you may want to consider just skipping this one altogether and going for the second game and playing in order from there. But if your heart is begging for the most authentic and complete experience with the series, then you may want to delve into this one. Just don't expect to enjoy the time you spend with Mega Man 1. I want to thank you all for watching this review of Mega Man for the NES. If you could go ahead and smack that like button, comment in the section below, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out The Nest, which is a collab of myself and other content creators and streamers, both here on YouTube and Twitch. You can follow the other members and find the group channel by following the links in the description. Also, if you want to support the channel, then consider becoming a patron by following the link on screen that is also in the description below. Thank you all for watching and remember, stay nerdy.